Hello, this is Barrister Arood and today I am going to discuss what is studied in the module of Public International Law. Public International Law encompasses a body of law that is quite distinct from the domestic law. We study about treaties, we study about sources of international law, we study about enforcement and also look at areas for reform. In defining public international law, the definition we use is quite loose and that is for a reason. The reason for that is that there is no distinct definition that is settled for public international law. We can contrast it with domestic law. You have a whole body of jurisprudence regarding domestic law and how it is created. I am thinking of positivists and other schools of thought. But that is distinct from how we view law in the international arena. Public international law consists of a body of laws. The term we use here is a body of laws because the laws that we are concerned with are not enumerated in a single document. They can be found in treaties, conventions, practices and many other instruments. We have four main sources of law. Sources of law. We have four main sources of law. These are enumerated in Article 38, Subsection 1 of the Statute of the International Court of Justice. These include international conventions. Now, these are conventions that are recognized by states through treaties. Then we have international customs. These are distinct from customs as we understand them perhaps in sociology or in a normal life. These are general practices accepted by law, so these have a legal standing. Then we have general principles of law. These are principles that are recognized by civilized nations. And lastly, you have judicial decisions. The judicial decisions in international law are quite distinct from those you have domestically. For instance, there is very little binding precedent.